What up guys, it's your boy Pax here and welcome to another video tutorial in my start to finish series from zero to hero and on this episode we are going to cover percussion. Now, there was a comment uh, on my brass arrangement that they wanted to see the voicings so I actually decided to create uh, three different patterns with each instrument in each pattern, uh, each section, each, each stem. Uh, so that you can see the voicings and what I, what I did. Usually I don't do it like this, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, uh, maybe it's easier for you guys to actually follow this uh, other than my fully clustered pattern list. Now, I did some percussion and I kind of just muted the vocals for now because I think I'm going to add choir. So, but this is what I have so far. some percussion as you could notice by the gongs and by the snares and perhaps a low drum setting um, so the track is is more completed so you can actually feel that it has a um, effect of fullness around it and that's because of the drums now the percussion is a very important element in orchestra even though you can use uh, no percussion whatsoever and have a fantastic track. I believe that the percussion is one of the main elements in the orchestra that you need to pay close attention. And it's actually one of my weakest elements to work with in the orchestral, uh, other than wood wings, which I don't even use. Now, uh, I will show you uh, the, the voicings and what I did with each part uh, sing, uh, as, as a solo. Uh, but f first let me just show you what I did with the percussion and explain why the percussion is one of my weakest links. Um, so, first off, uh, you need to understand that the percussion works as a very detailed, um, let's say, onion. So, there's a huge spectrum when it comes to percussion from very low to very high and there's multiple different types and styles of percussion and you need a lot of percussion in order to cover a huge amount of space so it's not just low mids and highs you actually have low mids and mid high as well so in i'm going to show you here the spectrum and i'm going to just mute the strings and the brass and you're going to see what i'm talking about Let's just mute the sounds as well. So just just a percussion. So check this out. So this is just the low. Now I'm gonna include some highs. So mid high. Now some highs here. A bit more high as well. Now mid. So as you can see, in, in more of uh, the part in the climax, I actually have the percussion take the full 
spectrum. I still can add uh, some low mids, perhaps some toms or a different uh, variation of low taiko, uh, which is a Japanese style drum, which I tend to use in my uh, lower sections. But I, I believe for this track, uh, I have a nice full effect of what I want. And that's, uh, that actually helps me to create better uh, main instruments. So percussion is usually just the background section, uh, which uh, serves as a bed for the rest of the instruments to shine. Now, let me add the, bra the brass. Let's just drag this out. So this is what I made with the brass. Uh, it, very simple. Usually I don't make it like this, uh, but since it's ambient, uh, I think it works. So uh, there's tubas in the low, uh, chimbasi and trombone on the low mids. Uh, there's French horns in the mids, and on the mid high, there's another type of French horn. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> was really easy to write. I could have gone a little bit more uh, sassy here, maybe create some extra notes, but I just decided to stay it like this. Uh, let me go in the string section now and let me show you what I got. Oh, let me turn this on. As you can see, I have the basses, cellos covering low mids, uh, low ends, and on the harmony section, which is the ostinato, and the viola are occupying the harmony section, and the to occupy the melody, I have a second violin and a fourth violin as well as layer. It, it just sounds way, way better. So you can actually work without percussion, but I believe all tracks should have a, ryth a rhythmic uh, element to it and usually that's done by the percussion, but you can always uh, add some sound effects and some pulses, and I'll cover that in another tutorial. But for now, that's it. Uh, if you want to do percussion, uh, just follow those steps with the root note and the mid for the harmonies and all that. It's, this is uh, all works in the percussion as well. So you take what you've learned from the strings and the brass, you can apply it to the percussion and you just have a full track, that sounds amazing because you have a, a good background to uh, bring the, those primary instruments forward. Uh, now the, the percussion, so when you do low percussion, you should do like, like in steps, like I have it here. If you have mid percussion, then you can go But if you have higher percussion, which is the sticks, you can actually go like here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna mute this. As you can see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So this is only done because it's higher percussion. If you actually use uh, this sort of rhythm in the lower, the frequencies will clash and you will sound muddy and you won't understand what's happening. So everything that's fast, leave it to the higher frequencies. Everything that's slower, leave it to the lower frequencies. And that's pretty much it. 
I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will fix that in the other tutorial.